Oh, this is Max. Um, this video is going to be about, um, again, something that is dominating the headlines right now. Um, what I really want to more focus on is the the dark secrets behind all this. Um, first, I want to start off, and I want to show you something that I that I wrote back in February of 2017. Now. I can't take complete credit for the idea because there has been several people out there who have also spoke of a similar situation too and so when I saw what they were talking about and you know I've had this idea kind of for several years even before that but what I'm going to show you is basically I mean you could say a future prediction or however you want to put it showing where that me as well as others out there have been seeing that this was the plan that there this is the plan that was going forward okay so I'm going to show you now what it is that I wrote okay now here's the article okay on my list of articles and um, this is a really good program I like the note program it allows you to write things and even if you while you're writing something and you log off it automatically saves it so that's cool um now one thing about this is these things are time stamped from the moment you write on it it starts the timestamp. Anytime you log into it and make a single change, it doesn't matter whether you change one word, one letter, a a parenthesis, a quote, a, a question mark, it pops the new date up. Okay, so the reason I'm saying this is I'm trying to show you that 12-24-2017, that's the last time that this was logged in on. Okay, so I'm just trying to show you that this is not something I went back and changed to make it look like I saw something. You know, I'm trying to make myself look like something special. I'm, not, I'm just showing you when I wrote this, this is the exact date right there. Okay, here's the article. Personally, I think the Mark of the Beast is going to be far more than just a microchip, although I'm sure it's actually supposed to be comma, but it, when, I, when I spoke it out, it said comma instead of comma. Like, <laughs> anyway, although I'm sure that that's part of it. Remember, though, the curse for the Mark of the Beast written in Revelation 14 states that anyone who takes it guarantees himself in a lake of fire. If it was simply a microchip, hypothetical, then hypothetically you could have the chip removed. Or you could do what Jesus said and cut off your hand. This is what I think will be. Mark of the Beast and Transhumanism. What if this biblical Mark of the Beast might be a conspiracy employing biotechnology in the form of a manufactured virus, a bioweapon, an occult elite operating behind the U.S. government devices a bug that is a crossover between human and animal disease, let's say an entirely new and highly contagious, yeah, that mutation, and intentionally releases it into the public. The, the inevitable ensues, and the period between when a person contracts it and death is something like 10 days, with tens of thousands dead in a few weeks, and the rate of mortality increasing hourly around the, the earth. The universal cry goes for a cure. Seemingly miraculous, the government then steps forward with a, well, with that. The only catch is they explain that, given the nature of this animal-human strain, this cure rewrites one's genetics so that they are no longer entirely human. The point is that those who receive this antidote will become part beast, and thus the title, Mark of the Beast. No longer entirely human would also mean, according to this outline, that the individual could no longer be saved or go to heaven. Explaining why the book of Revelation says that whosoever receiveth the mark is damned forever, while also explaining why the Nephilim could similarly not be redeemed. If one imagines this chaos such as, such as that, the concept of how the Antichrist causes all, both small and great, to receive this mark becomes clearer. When looking into the eyes of dying children, parents, or spouse, it would be incredibly difficult to allow oneself to die or encourage others to do the same. Lastly, this scenario would mean that nobody is allowed to buy or sell in the marketplace without this mark or cure due to the need to keep all those uh, away from the rest of us, but the inoculated, thus fulfilling all aspects of this Mark of the Beast prophecy. Perhaps this cure comes about as a protection against the scorpion locusts that are released from the pit. During the chaos that ensues from these hybrid creatures attacking people, Satan and the fallen angels appear as our alien saviors and offer this cure or upgrade to mankind. This will complete the great Genesis 3 lie. And the serpent said unto the woman, You shall not surely die a type of immortality or extended life through transhuman genetics. For God does know that in the day that you eat thereof, that your eyes shall be opened, the third eye being open, able to see in other spectrums of light, infrared like snakes, 
ultraviolet baby sonar, and you shall be as gods, supernatural powers and superhuman strength, knowing good and evil, incredible knowledge, perhaps through an implanted microchip, knowing direct computer interface, everyone would be a cybernetic organism capable of directly accessing the internet, and Satan would have access to the thoughts and minds of everybody hooked into this system. He would be able to control everyone like puppets, and he would be able to locate anyone at any time and shut them down if he needed to. So there you go. Okay, so this article is from the European Union Times. And this is the article, Denmark passes laws enabling forced Charlie Victor. Uh, Denmark has passed emergency law laws for government to make people take a that for Charlie Victor. Okay, so it makes perfect sense. First, it scare the feathers off everyone with all this stuff, which is in fact just fake. Just keep rumors. Anyway, I'm not going to read this article if you want to check it out. But as you can see here, what I was, what me and others saw many years ago, the same of the article right there, and that's the site. So if you want to go read it or check it out, I suggest you do. And this article here is from biometricupdate.com. <clears throat> Supercom introduces biometric tracking solution to contain Charlie Victor. And they're providing biometric technology based solutions for monitoring help. Uh, these groups contain these things, such as Charlie Victor, the company announced. The solution is a scannable electronic monitoring and tracking platform ready for deployment. It includes waterproof hypergenic Bluetooth ankle bracelet, a smartphone, SAS. SAAS software in the cloud, but is also customizable for smartphone only monitoring. It's already speaking the number of groups to roll out this solution globally. Hmm. Anyway, you want to, I suggest you also read this article. Um that's the name of the article, and that's the site. Okay, a military funded biosensor could be the future of this type of detection. This is from Defense One. I say, get ready, people. This is the future. If it wins approval, the two-part sensor could help spot new these every week before they begin to show. I don't know how many times I've had to say this over the years to people. Maybe they just don't listen. But this is what they've been planning for years. And what a perfect way to roll it out, but to put everybody in this... Put everybody in this situation right now. And then... All of a sudden, magically, boom, look what we have. Here, you can take this, you'll be all better, you ain't got to worry about it, da 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 Come on, people. This is this is their plan. This has been their plan all along. Anyway, if you want to check this article, it's on Defense One, 